They likewise consist of individual devices like fitness trackers that keep an eye on the variety of steps individuals take every day. To make that information useful it requires to be gathered, processed, filtered and analyzed, each of which can be managed in a variety of methods. Gathering the information is done by sending it from the gadgets to an event point. The information can be sent over the web to an information center or a cloud that has storage and compute power or the transfer can be staged, with intermediary devices aggregating the information before sending it along. Processing the information can take location in information centers or cloud, however sometimes that's not an option. The round trip time for sending out data, processing it, evaluating it and returning instructions close that valve before the pipelines burst can take too long. In such cases edge computing can come into play, where a wise edge device can aggregate information, evaluate it and style responses if needed, all within relatively close physical range, consequently decreasing delay. Network World IDG How the Web of Things Works Basically, anything that can collecting some info about the real world and sending it back house can take part in the IoT community. Smart home appliances, RFID tags, and industrial sensing units are a couple of examples. These sensing units can keep an eye on a variety of elements including temperature level and pressure in industrial systems, status of critical parts in machinery, patient crucial signs, and use of water and electrical energy, among many, numerous other possibilities. Other examples consist of fitness wearables and house security systems. There are also more generic gadgets, like the Raspberry Pi or Arduino, that let you build your own IoT endpoints. Although you might consider your smartphone as a pocket-sized computer system, it might well also be beaming data about your place and behavior to back-end services in really IoT-like ways. Frequently, all this happens within the context of a single vendor's exclusive systems or, it does not occur at all, which is even more risky. However the industry is starting to shift to a standards-based device management model, which enables IoT gadgets to interoperate and will guarantee that devices aren't orphan. Thanks for watching. Please like and share with others. See description below and subscribe to get more videos.